Hi there, I'm Anupi with Indian is Apple Pie. Welcome to my kitchen. We are going to be talking about different ways to prep tofu today. I love tofu as a plant-based, high-protein, nutrient-dense ingredient, say that three times fast, in your foods. I just love adding it into everything that I cook, including into, believe it or not, Indian food. I cook a lot of Indian in my days and in my weeks, and tofu, generally speaking, is not the correct consistency for Indian, it's a little bit softer, so you can actually take it and bake it and make it into the correct consistency, not only for Indian, for Mexican as well, and for Asian, East Asian and Southeast Asian cooking as well. I use baked tofu for all my stir fries, just to give my dishes a little bit more texture and for my fried rice. So one of the questions I always get is, what kind of tofu to start with to do this most effectively? I say to start with a quality tofu like Ichiban. That's a great brand, they've got great product, and use the firm. That's key, is using a firm consistency of tofu. And then what you wanna do is you wanna slice it down thin. For this prep, and I'm gonna show you my cutting board here. We want thin slices. Now, do you need to uh, drain the tofu and press it? Not really. I just leave it usually on a dinner plate hole, and then as I'm prepping my other ingredients, I'll drain away whatever water collects around it. So really minimal fuss is the way I like to roll with my tofu. And I'm gonna go ahead and slice it thin to use a small cutting board so I can just flip it around like this and there we go now what you're going to want to do is once it's been sliced and diced is we will take our baking tray you can see here how I've already diced the entire 19 ounces of tofu that I had and placed it on here what I've done is, this is a non-stick baking tray, slightly larger than you likely would need, but you want that because you wanna give your tofu room to breathe. You don't want it touching every piece. And so you wanna kind of move it so that it's got its own little space. And then I'll usually take a vegetable oil spray and just spray it very lightly on the very bottom, put the tofu on, and then spray it again lightly. And then that could be it. Or if you'd like to spice it a little bit at this point, grab your salt and pepper. And sometimes what I'll do right here is add in that little bit of salt. And you can see there's a little pepper on here as well. You could also, if you know you're gonna use it for say Indian, just sprinkle some gutta masala on here. You could um, sprinkle some Italian spices if you want to put it into, a, into an Italian dish. Whatever you want to do. Now this is going to go into an oven that's been preheated to 420 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes total. Now, do you need to flip it in between? You don't really need to. You can if you want to have even more consistency with your baking, but if you just want a hands-off cooking process, let it cook for 40 minutes. Don't even touch it. And I'm gonna show you what you're gonna get. Here we go. Wow, that was like magic, right? Well, this was a batch that I cooked before, and I know the lighting's a little wonky in here, but that's okay, we'll play with it. Um, but check this out. This is my one piece of tofu, this is the top, and this is the bottom that's been browned so beautifully. And what I like about this is, it's got a little bit more texture than my tofu normally would have, and it's gonna hold up in a curry. It's gonna hold up in a fried rice in a different way than just the soft tofu. And I didn't have to go out running to find pre-baked tofu. This is just something you can do with any 
pretty much tofu that you've got in the fridge as long as the texture and the um, consistency of it is firm or extra firm. So now we're gonna go ahead and store it. I love making a large batch on say a Sunday and storing it in my fridge for stir fries, my fried rice, um, soups and stews. Maybe I wanna do a salad and I wanna throw some of these pieces of tofu in there, whatever you want to do. Very, very easy to add in. Beautiful plant-based protein, which is low in calories, high in nutrients. Awesome way to prep your tofu for the week. Even if you wanted to just pull it out and give it to the kids as a snack, they're little tiny pieces which are perfect for little hands. You can mix it in with whatever other veggies they're eating. You can mix it in with fruit and they'll just eat it all together. It is a great way to prep your tofu and get your tofu on. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, I'm Anupi with Indian as Apple Pie. Stay tuned to Indian as Apple Pie for future videos and fun ways to incorporate things like tofu into your day to day. Bye.